Oh, hi. I'm here to respond to Jasmine's tag of March 12, 2012. So here we go. Question one. What have you tried in the past to find a job and did it work? Um, it's worked every single time. Uh, okay. When I was applying for a job at the French Bank of California, which is a subsidiary of the National Bank of Paris, um, I went for my interview and I said, yes, I do speak French. I'm fluent in French. And um, I would like to work here. So I was told, we'll call you in a couple of days. I said, Thank you very much for your time. Okay, couple of days. I called them and I said, I would really like to work for you. And uh, have you come to a decision yet? They said no and uh, seemed a little surprised. <laughs> anyway, after that, I called them every day. And after about the fourth day, they said, we've decided that we're going to hire you. So I got the job. Um, and uh, other jobs I've applied to, well, one was to be a counselor at a French camp, which was associated with Concordia College in Moorhead, Minnesota. And that was an application by mail. And um, because I spoke French and I was in college, I guess, um, and I knew sports, they hired me to teach French and archery, which I had to teach in French. So I worked at that camp for two summers, and I had a blast. It was so much fun. Uh, any other job I've tried to get, I've uh, gotten. When I applied for a job at a uh, downtown library, I had to take a test to see how fast I could put the call numbers in order. So I took the test, and I already knew that because I'd worked at three libraries before that. So, yeah, I've always had really good luck. Um, either because I knew what I was doing or I had a special skill. Okay, number two. Did you suck? As a kid, did you suck your thumb? I sucked my thumb for six years when my mother finally convinced me to stop. Um, and they tried everything. They put the hot pepper sauce on, you know. And I remember being in church one time sucking my thumb and my mother gave me the nastiest look and she said take that thumb out of your mouth and I don't know what did it to finally make me stop but it made me have really bad teeth I mean it looks like I have bad teeth now you know and I'm missing a couple of teeth that's because of epilepsy um but I had really bad buck teeth <laughs> it was terrible Anyway, number three, how do you get back inside your house if you lock yourself out? That's easy. I never lock my patio door. It's on the second floor. And my front bedroom window, the front windows are really, really, really old. And anybody could get in if they wanted to, locked or not. But since I always have it open, at least a crack, I could get in easily. Um, when I lived in other places where it would seem impossible to get in, I call the fire department and they will come and let you in if you tell them, and I wouldn't be lying, I've done this before, if you take medication that, you know, you would get sick if you didn't take it, or if you left the stove on, or if there's a little child in the house, they will let you in, otherwise they won't. Um, so I just rather break in. If somebody wants to break in my house, there's nothing in here they would want because it's all 25 years old, even the electronics, except for the laptop. Okay. Number four, if a stranger walked up to you and asked you out on a date, how would you reply? Um, I would say, well, thank you. 
And um, if we don't consider this a date and we each pay for ourselves, how about a cup of coffee? Because Lord knows I need to make some friends. <laughs> okay. Um, and that's what I said to my ex-husband, you know, because the first thing he said was, can I buy you dinner? And I said, no, but you can buy me lunch on my lunch break. It's safer that way. Okay, number five. When you put a comment on someone's video and they reply, do you read all the replies when they come on your emails? I read every reply. If someone subscribes to me, I go on their page and thank them very much, and I check them out to see if I would like to subscribe back. Ooh, I'm wheezing. But yeah, I answer everybody, even if I don't like them, even if they're haters. Um, but I put such weird comments on haters' comments that they never come back anyway. And I think it's funny. As you know, I like messing around with uh, people's heads, the people that I don't really want to have anything to do with. I just mess out, mess around with their heads. <laughs> Everybody else, no, they get, they, I don't mess around with them. I just be myself. What's next? Besides YouTube, what other sites do you go on? <sighs> Amazon, uh, Smithsonian Folkways, Musician's Friend, um, the library, Science websites like NASA or NOAA or NIST um, uh, things like that there's probably other history all sorts of things oh yeah and I check out uh, CNN News and Huffington Post or something anyway okay uh, oh, and sometimes Facebook if you had to choose Facebook or YouTube for whatever reason, which one would you close and why? Um, because I would close Facebook. That's hard because I have people on there that I used to know a long time ago that I would like to keep in touch with. Um, but I love YouTube. I've actually been on Facebook longer than YouTube, but... Um, even though I've never met any of you in person, I still love all my friends. So, do I have to close one? I, I really can't choose. I'm sorry, Jasmine. I know you want to know, but I don't really have an answer for that one. So, anyway, there's my tag. I love you all. See you later. Goodbye. Have a good day.